I left my home village in 1996 for Shanghai. I expected a bright and a good future here, and it is true. I enjoyed meeting talented people from all over the world, and the city views, and I think the, the charm of the giant city is much more than what I've mentioned. Yet I assume that like many fellow citizens in the giant city, issues like traffic and pollution just tarnish life in the city. And in recent years, scandals of tainted food keep bothering city dwellers. The people seem to be very busy in their lives, and they can't say hello, even hello to each other, let alone talk with each other. There seems to be no wholesome communities in the cities. These issues are not specific for, for Shanghai. They seem to be recurring problems with many cities in China. My family was struggling against the problems in Shanghai, and in 2008, we decided to move out of the giant city and return to our home village and create a better and healthier life for ourselves. We started our life in the mountains, the beautiful morning mist, the moon and the stars, along with serenity, just made me ponder and meditate. And I came to realize that I'm I was destined to be, a com to be a farmer, a farmer that would take good care of soil, water, air, and everything in nature to keep the balance. A farmer that would uh, create change through a new model. So we developed an ecosystem in farming. By growing mushrooms, we get large quantities of uh, organic fertilizer. And we use the organic fertilizers to grow rice and vegetables alternately on the same piece of land. In that way, we naturally control pests better than other farmers, and we didn't need to use any pesticides or chemical fertilizers. However, as much as I saw positive of village life, I started to notice its challenges as well. Throughout the years in the village, we witnessed exodus of farmers from the rural villages to the cities. Since 2008, in encouraged by mass construction work in the cities, almost 80% population of my village just moved to the cities for better life. Only 100 out of 900 people have remained. And now, most of people staying in the village are either over 70 years or just below 10 years old. We are seeing rising depression in the village. So this old lady is over 80 years old, and her son just moved to the cities, and she has to live with her husband on the farm and manage everything themselves. This little girl, along with her brother, stayed with their grandparents while their parents has gone, have gone to the cities to work. It is believed that there are over 60 million children left over behind their parents in the rural, in the rural areas in China. They're struggling to survive the loneliness with their grandchildren parents, or even just aged relatives. So the village communities have fallen apart. What is the solution? We need to bring back all the young parents back to the villages. But how? 
It is a big question to answer, and it is a very difficult question to answer. I've seen all this situation with my own eyes, and I believe sustainable farming can help to rebuild the village community. So we developed a new model of agriculture. We tried to bridge the rural and urban communities, connecting directly the two to each other through a fundamental need, food. On one hand, the city families get healthy food from the, directly from the villagers, and the villagers can get sponsored by the city families to stay in the village and work on the land. In 2011, we initiated the Ribbon of Hope project. We connect individual village farmer family to several city families to supply food and ingredients. The farmer produces an ecosystem of farming in a traditional Chinese way. And in that eco-farming system, no, no chemicals, hormones, or any similar harmful products are used. Regular deliveries get the cargo delivered directly from the, farm, the farmer family to the city family's doorstep. Village communities can also connect it with uh, urban organizations, a, ho a hotel, a restaurant, a school, or just a company. We set up a farmer's co-op to manage all the community of farmers and educate all the members to live and uh, farm in a sustainable way. With the money from the city families, the young parents stay in the village, and then the village communities can be sustained. It is awesome to see how happy the city children are when they return to nature. And the city children form relationships with the local kids that are left behind by their parents. When there is balance, there is sustainability. In China, communities in both cities and villages have fallen apart. We needed to bridge the gap. And I believe sustainable farming could be our solution. We can all play a part in bridging the gap simply by choosing a healthier and better way of living and eating, by choosing a more sustainable way of living. Thank you.